Hi you guys, it's Charlie aka Miss Charlie's A. Welcome to Charlie's Universe. It is late night, it's after 12 o'clock, just getting off work. And I just really felt like I wanted to just come on and kind of talk, vent a little bit because I feel like this is a good place to do it and perhaps there's some of you out there who aren't in my normal group of friends who can give me advice on this because I really feel like I need some type of advice or something like that. Have you ever felt like you're just stuck? Like, either if it's dealing with work or in a relationship or you just, you know, you're, you're, you're content where you're at, but at the same time you feel like I'm going to be stuck in this same situation forever. That's how I feel. Like, you know, I've been successful in keeping myself independent, not having to worry about roommates, um, not having to rely on anybody else's income to keep myself afloat. Over these past 10 years, I've learned how to be independent. I've learned how to budget. I've learned how to not just spend money on stupid things. I've learned how to save money. I've just learned to be, to take care of myself. And, you know, and I, I pat myself on the back all the time, all the time, because I'm going to tell myself I've done a good job, you know, I've kept my own apartment for at least five years now, you know, I've paid rent on time almost every single day, I've had at least, what, this is my fourth car now, my first three cars, or two cars were like the major pieces of shit, but I went through that ordeal with the company that was a scam, and then I got another car through Car Hop, paid off that car, built my credit up, and now I have a fabulous new Elantra outside that I've been paying on and making payments on and keeping up on time, paying my insurance, keeping my phone on, paying my phone bill, you know, just keeping my utilities on. You know, making sure that all my bills are paid for and then still have play money on the side. And I have been overworking myself over these last three years to make sure that I keep myself afloat. I've worked hard at having two jobs. And I pat myself on the back for that because a lot of people don't have that worth ethic to keep going but I I'm not a quitter so I've stuck with the same stuff that I've done for the past few years now but I feel like I'm in a point in my life where I should have progressed to something bigger and better than what I'm doing now I mean I'm 29 years old you guys 29 years old. Next year, I'm going to be 30. I do not, and I, I keep telling myself this, I do not want to see myself doing the same type of work that I'm doing now for the next 10 years. I can't. I can't because the older I get, the more, I mean, every day I learn about people. Every day. And... I've learned how people are. I've learned that each year that I stay in this this type of work profession, I find myself getting grumpier, more snappy, more impatient, because it's just something that I know I need to get out of. I know I need to get out of it. It's It's been my comfort zone for the last few years. It's what's kept me afloat. But I, honestly, on my part, I have not got out there and found a passion that I want and need. I need something that I make more money on. I need something that I will be very happy to go into every single day. I want something that I'm not going to feel like I'm a slave to every day. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be something out there. There's got to be a different path for me. This cannot be the path that I'm supposed to have for the rest of my life. It just can't. I mean, this 
type of field of work or whatever is something that was a stepping stone and a learning tool but I just don't want to see and I can't see myself continuing to do this same line of work for another 10 years I can't I feel like I have way more potential I feel like I have a lot more character and personality to be doing something that I enjoy and contributing to rather than what I'm doing now. And you know, I I keep trying to figure out where 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 is the starting point to me changing my life. And I can't quite grasp it. I can't figure it out. I mean, I know what I want to do or what I at least want to try to get into. But I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. I know that I need to start with getting out of my comfort zone. That's number one thing. I mean, I already accomplished one goal, two goals, you know, keeping a roof over my head and getting a car that I enjoy driving, you know. Now is time for something even better. It's time for me to get into something that I can contribute and actually feel good about doing. But I'm, I need to figure out where to start. And that's where I'm having a struggle on. You know, I, you know, I may not act my age, you know, interacting with people. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to taking care of business, taking care of bills, planning ahead, I'm on top of that like a 29-year-old should be. As long as I got all that stuff taken care of, who cares if I act immature? But I know that I'm mature, very mature and adultish when it comes to taking care of business. And so, once again, thinking ahead, I'm like, I need to get into a type of field where I'm making money, don't have to worry about working two jobs to keep myself supported, so that I don't have to stress myself out on a daily basis, and to where I'm actually doing something with my life, because honestly, I feel like I'm wasting it, when I know I could be doing something a lot better. So... Anyone who could be watching this video, if you have any tips on where I could start, I, of course, want to get back into school. And that's something I definitely need to look into. I just need to push myself somehow. So if you guys have any pointers for me, please let me know. I would love to hear them. You know, maybe somebody else is in the same boat as I am thinking the same way, you know. Something's got to happen here. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to kind of just take the time to kind of vent it out a little bit because I felt like I needed to vent it out. You know, I feel like maybe somebody is actually listening to what I'm saying. So, I don't know. But anyway, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Also, if you have not seen the Joy of Gay Sex series, um, episode three, there are videos back. Um, I did three, uh, three parts yesterday. So if you're interested in checking out the Joy of Gay Sex series, be sure to check out those videos. More episodes are coming in the future, you guys, so stay tuned for that. Also, the Smile Every Day campaign video is up. Part 2 and Part 1 are both up, so be sure to check those out if you have not seen the Smile Every Day campaign pics. Also, if you want to be part of the Smile Every Day pictures video at the end of the month, you need to subscribe to my Facebook, which is under Charlize A. Jenkins. And you can um, add yourself to my group, which is under Charlie's Smile Every Day campaign. You can post your pictures there. And at the end of the month, I will save those pictures and put them in to the end of the month Smile campaign video, you guys. So be sure to do that if you want to do that. Um, you know, like I said, you guys, I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of things with Charlie's Universe. I'm trying to inspire my friends to be involved with Charlie's Universe. You know, we all need to work together to make our futures better for ourselves. You know, um, that's all I want to do. All right, you guys, thank you so much for anybody who did listen to this video. Um, be sure to comment. Let me know. Give me some ideas, pointers on what I can do to better my future. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. And as always, it only takes a moment to smile. And as always...